All right, welcome to my video about my garden. Um, so far, I got giant tomato plant growing. Uh, I wasn't expecting them to grow at all. It was just an experiment to uh, see what it, see what I can do. Um, usually, I do the pepper thing. Uh, just just watered these guys with house water, which was a bad idea. Uh, you can you can see it kind of kind of got a little bit of yellowing in there going on. That's that's from the uh, house water. You're not supposed to use house water on plants. There's my chives back there. Not doing too hot. Well, they're actually not chives. I mean um, uh, green onions. There's my other tomatoes I planted uh, about a week ago. <laughs> they're already taken off already. Um, so far, so good. Something's been eating this guy. I can't get a break. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I can't get a break from these bugs in here. Uh, last night I had a problem with slugs. The uh, leopard slugs I put down bone meal and blood meal the night before. I guess it... I don't know if you can see some of it down in there or not. A little powdery hand and stuff there. It looks kind of like dirt. That's blood, blood and bone meal. You can see it back there in that tomato there. Let me zoom in for you. You can see it there on the ground. It looks like looks like white pepper almost. But uh, the slugs, man, they love that stuff, and that's not good. I just put this up today uh, to help keep the cats out. Um, not sure, but I had one of my tomato plants, I think it was the other day. Uh, this this one here, I think it was like a week ago, maybe, or the other day. I'm not sure. I don't remember when I planted it, but it's been a while. Um, something ate the stem off or broke it off but I picked it up that hair cat hair all over so I'm assuming it was a cat but I don't know uh, everybody's telling me it could be cut worms so I gotta keep an eye out for that now there's another problem with the, the soil that I used uh, in the beginning I told everybody to use uh, garden organic soil and um, peat hummus try not to use the, or, the uh, organic uh, garden soil it's a or big orange bag you can use it just use it in the top soil that you got over here in your garden don't use it in containers it, uh, it'll look like this kind of barren um, cats will dig in it and other stuff like that it's it's too too tough for the plants to grow in as a seed um, but as adults they're okay, it's okay to plant it in here Yet again, I got something, something bad going on in there. It's, it's from the soil. This is why I don't recommend using this organic garden soil crap. So I mix it with hummus like a dummy, and uh, this is how they turned out with the hummus and organic soil. I mean, the, the garlic loved it. It took off so much. I don't even know what to do with it all. I just hope it doesn't rot out. Um, I think these are called hardneck. Yeah, hard hard neck garlics. These are all my black crims. This is the Iron Lady. See the name back there. She's already got some tomatoes growing on here. Yeah, I'm having some kind of issues here going on, but it's not calcium deficiency or anything like that because I got all that in here. I mixed. Um, there's blood meal and bone meal on top. There's blood and bo blood and bone meal at the bottom here. There's holes. Holes all the way through this here, here, here. Uh, this was one of the planters I bought uh, a few years ago when I did all my peppers. I had like thousands of peppers. Um, this is the one tomato I just threw in here. It's gonna get huge. Uh, this one is a little sweetie. I never seen her before. It's kind of newer to me. This one is the, the uh, Iron Lady. She is re uh, disease resistant. So that's a, that's a plus. Um, other than that, there's I put perlite in here, which is this little greeny white stuff. You can barely see. It'll hold hold minerals and it'll help help aerate the pot. Um, if you do go to Lowe's, make sure you put a lot of holes in it. Bottom, around the bottom here, around the center, um, on the very bottom of the container. You want to put holes underneath here. If not, you're gonna get um, what's called the uh, root rot you don't want that like th this isn't a disease 
that I know of. Um, but I know there's some issuing going on here with these leaves. I just, I just noticed today up here they're darker green because it's alive. Um, down here it was, I didn't really feed it much because I didn't have it in a container yet because I didn't know what I was doing. I was going to wait. Um, I guess some more, some more, uh, mm -hmm. garlic that I, garlic that I threw out, thought it was going to die, and, uh, she came right back, this is all, this is garlic too, it was just a little bulb I threw in here, yeah, I thought it was going to die, but it came right back, um, yeah, everything's a hardy plant, garlic, can't destroy it unless it freezes and you know, turn it into mold. It's my first time ever doing garlic ever. What the hell is that doing in there? Um, I've destroyed this guy so many times. I uh, you know, and I even stepped on him. I fucking I cut his head off, everything, and came right back. So it's a definitely hardy plant. You can't kill it. Um, but enjoy your planting. If you guys need any more tips or tricks, or if you need help with your gardening, I can come help you out. Let me know. I do this for fun. It's a hobby. Um, but other than that, if you guys got large areas like that, I'm going to have to charge you to do the area. But I will do a garden for you if you need it. Uh, all you got to do is buy the supplies and I'll do everything you want. It's cool. Um, there's a lot of a lot of conditioning you have to do to your soil before you can even have anything. So if you're just starting a garden out and you're tearing up your yard to start a garden, Started started early spring, put put cow manure down and some fertilizers down. Don't plant anything. Just, just till the soil, keep it tilled, and wait until next year. And then that 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 following spring, go ahead and plant something. Um, you can plant garlic in the fall. Make sure you plant deep enough because that way it doesn't freeze. Uh, it'll uh, it'll get malt rot, and you don't want that. That's that's a big big problem I'm gonna have I got got a wild some wild strawberries uh trying to trying to sneak in here you see a wild strawberry here it's got little little shoots coming off the side another little stra wild strawberry here um but yeah just take care of your garden don't overdo it uh, I think I'm overdoing it I don't know yet <laughs> I usually do this a lot every year I'm trying to Trying to slow down because I'm using so much stuff. Um, fertilizers, bone meal, you name it, I got it all in here. So we'll find out in a few months.